What's up guys, welcome back once again to the reviews. Today I'm going to be revisiting an air cooler from Noctua, the Noctua NHD15. Uh, Chromax black version is the one I've got, but obviously it performs the same as the standard version. Today what I'm basically going to be doing is testing this against one of Be Quiet's brand new or newish uh, coolers there, Dark Rock Pro 5. Don't have the box here at the moment, uh, I'm not sure where I've put it to be honest with you, but it is installed in my PC here. Um, but I've just put it up on the screen there behind so you can have sort of see what it is. I'll do some sort of pictures and stuff on the screen as I'm talking so you can see what it looks like um, and we'll go from there. So basically I'm testing it against uh, NHD15 against the Dark Rock Pro 5. They do do a Dark Rock 5 Elite or Elite 5 as well which is a little bit better performance but unfortunately I don't have that one. So we're testing it against this one. Um, so first of all we're going to talk about a few of the basically comparisons in terms of uh, what you actually get physically. Um, for the cooler obviously they're both huge coolers um nhd 15 i believe is a little bit bigger the nhd 15's dimensions are 165 by 150 by 161 whereas the be quiet are 145 by 136 by 168 so it is a smaller cooler the dark rock pro 5 um does that mean uh, worse performance we'll find out shortly um Obviously, it also means that that one's probably going to be more compatible. The Dark Rock's going to be more compatible with more cases and things like that. However, these kind of coolers, you're going to be putting in big cases, which tend to be able to support coolers of this size anyway. So I wouldn't worry about that too much. Um, so in terms of other differences, the NHD15, this is the one that comes with two fans. So it comes with two 140 millimeter fans on this. They are their NFA15 fans. Um, so really good fans and really, really quiet as well. The Be Quiet Dark Rock comes with uh, Silent Wings 4 fans, one at 135mm and the other one at 120mm, so a standard 120 on the front and then a sort of special 135 one that goes in the middle of the cooler. Um, other than that, in terms of design, obviously they're both completely blacked out if, if you have the Chromax black version of the Noctua and um, the Be Quiet has two different functions in it. It has a, a quiet mode and a performance mode and whereas the Noctua comes with basically an adapter to plug in to basically slow the fans down. Um, obviously, you can do that through your software instead if you want to do it that way. I'm testing these both at full performance um, just to see how they perform at their maximum best sort of case scenario, how they perform at the top end. The other difference is obviously the price. Uh, currently, the Dark Rock Pro 5 goes for around between 75 and 85 if it's on sale. Uh, currently on sale, if you few places here in the UK so currently you can get it for about £75 um, which would be I don't know around $85 something like that and um, whereas the Noctua for the Chromax Black is £110 and for the standard version is about £100 so there's quite a big difference in terms of price there um, so obviously you need to decide on terms of price versus performance versus silence and things like that as to whether which one you want to go for. So let's get straight into the, um, they've already been tested, they've already been on the screen, I'll, um, they've already been tested in my, my testing rig. So the way I've done the performance is how I do all my coolers, 10 minutes on Cinebench, multi-core, so open air, remove all the panels off the case to allow just straight airflow straight to the, the cooler uh, and I tested in the, in the same system uh, as it is. So let's get on with those results. So the Be Quiet uh, Dark Rock Pro 5, um, was tested at the idle, was around 36 degrees, and that at the time was 12.6 12 degrees over ambient, whereas the Noctua came in around 38 degrees, and that was again 12.6 over ambient. It was a little bit warmer when I tested the, the Noctua. Um, so pretty much on par there in terms of idle temperatures. Then we went on to the Cinebench tests and the Be Quiet Dark Rock came in at 72 degrees maximum, which was an over ambient of 48.3, whereas the Noctua came in at a temperature of 75 degrees, which is a 49.2 degrees. And here, obviously, again, it was warmer, so that's why even though it's three degrees difference in terms of the max, the over ambient's not that big at all. It's literally about a degree. Um, so, that's about it, guys. I mean, obviously, this is a very short video. I literally just want to test it on the Cinebench. Um, if you do want to see any more sort of testing on games or things like that, then give me a shout and I'll try and do some more uh, in depth testing on this. But I just wanted to see how these perform against each other. Worst case scenario, so using Cinebench, which is obviously pushing it to its maximum, um, and obviously then using the fans at the full speed and see just how well it deals with it uh, and whether you should buy the Dark Rock or the Noctua. Uh, and in terms of performance, the Dark Rock is on par or better for sure. And obviously cost a lot, I say a lot less money, it is quite a lot less money. It's about 20% less um, 
money for the same or better performance as the Noctua. So obviously you weigh up that, that up, it's going to come down from, from there to either silence or aesthetics, depending on which one you think looks the best. So in terms of silence, um, the Noctua uh, is a maximum of 35 decibels. That's obviously tested in a system which had fans and stuff in it as well. So you are going to get a bit louder. Um, which is a significant drop down from what the Be Quiet came in at 46 decibels. So it is a lot louder at full speed, the uh, Be Quiet. Um, so that that is going to be your deciding factor as to whether which one you want to go for. Um, obviously, you've got the performance from the Be Quiet at a much cheaper price. Um, but if you're looking for a completely quiet system, then your Noctua is going to be the way to go. And it obviously isn't far off in terms of performance either, but you are going to spend a little bit more money for it. Not sure also do an offset fitting for their coolers now, we are basically offsets for AMD uh, CPUs. Uh, this was tested on a 5900X, but it is more geared towards AM5 CPUs where it offsets it and hopefully and should cool it a bit better. So you may be able to get a bit more performance out of that using the five, I think it's about five pounds for the, for the fitting. Um, so you could get a little bit more out of that and probably sort of beat the be quiet that way. However, that is the results and that's how it's come in. And to me, um, the be quiet is the better buy. Um, but obviously it is going to be down to your personal preference of what you prefer. Uh, so that's it guys really, I just want to do a quick video, show you uh, basically uh, which one comes out on top. Um, I will hopefully do some more testing with these kind of things soon and uh, that, that's it basically guys. Uh, so I hope this was interesting to you and you basically made your decision of which one you want to go for or helps you make your decision. And if you did like uh, this and it did help you then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you didn't like it then obviously give it a thumbs down. Leave them in the comments in the comment section below and please don't forget to subscribe. It all is great greatly appreciated. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon.